Okay. My name is Hoi, I'm consultant psychiatrist, editor of Global Psychiatry Archives. I'd like to um, report about a paper published by uh, Asha Maria Davis and Roy Kaliwayali. It's about stressful life events and social support in bipolar disorder. It's a cross-sectional study from South India, and it shows greater, sever greater severity of stress in the pre-onset period as risk factors for relapse. So let's go to the uh, different uh, different parts of the study. As usual, most is uh, presented in the in the uh, tables, and uh, in total they have they took a couple of a uh, couple of uh, scales: the Hamilton Depression Scale, Young Mean and Rating Scale. A presumptive stressful life event scale and Oslo social support scale. So what they looked is whether people who had a relapse um, had a different type of uh, stressful life events and more or less social support. And um, they were quite extensive in analyzing the data. I would possibly stick to the most important parts of it. Um, this is a sample, a quite common sample of people in an old age range or all age range in ranges uh, slightly uh, more females, which is very common uh, in, in patients in uh, mental health institutions. This is a tertiary institution where lots of uh, people with bipolar are seen. They had a, a power calculation of 157 patients and um, just finished after they had their sample. So um, these were all the bipolar patients and uh, yeah, very common, different numbers of children, uh, more Christian than Hindus, some Muslims, uh, usually uh, yeah, a mix of education, nothing special. So in, between the two groups, more or less, they are the same. So um, social, social life doesn't really uh, distinguish them. So family life is similar. Um, the only thing is that the people who have uh, more relapses have a less uh, less lower family income, and they have more hypertension. Um, I wouldn't make too much out of this, but you know, it's uh, it might be an indicator, but I think there's no clear hypothesis on that. Right? Okay. So there are different uh, types of episodes. Previous episodes, you can all see this in this uh, in the in these uh, uh, tables. Um, interestingly enough, um, about the types of uh, onset, pre-onset stressful life events, we're talking here lots about family conflicts, marital conflicts, deaths of close family members, marital separation, divorce, and then lots of other um, events which might affect the life of people, detention, jail, death of spouse. Um, but usually, and the most common seem to be family conflicts. And the authors took most uh, took the most severe one, which uh, in many cases was family and marital conflicts and some days of close family members. Right, okay, so when you look at the life events and, and the relapse and remission group, so it seems that uh, it's very clear, statistically significant, that the people who had relapses, had more stress, especially more severe stress. So that seems to, um, yeah, to be the expected more or less. Um, look at the next table. You see that people um, who have re a relapse have more, not just more severe, but also more um, significant life events, stressful life events. Okay. Right, okay, coming to the next, we see uh, poor poor social support seems also be related to severe stress. And uh, again, that's more or less from this uh, hypothesis. What you find is that people who have stressful life events have less support. Um, that's more or less uh, important here. Level of social support in both groups 
there is a significant diff difference. People in a mission have more stronger social support. So in total, I don't want to go into more details, but in general, the study is in line with what you expect. People who relapse have less support, have more stress, and this seems to be related with the relapse. I hope uh, you have a time to look at the paper, lots of other interesting little bits, but I would leave it here and wish you a nice day. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, W uh, Global Psychiatry Archives, and have a nice day. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're welcome. Bye.